Hey guys, welcome back to Come Again, where all geek culture collides. I'm Shannon, and this week on our pop review, we're going to be taking a look at the pop movies Marvel Spider-Man Homecoming, number 220, Spider-Man Vinyl Bobblehead. So stay tuned. <laughs> All right, guys, as I said, welcome back to Come Again. I'm Shannon, and this week we're taking a look at the Funko Pop Spider-Man Homecoming number 220, Spider-Man Vinyl Bobblehead. So as you can see here, this is from the uh, movie by Sony and Marvel Studios. This is his Stark-made costume. We got Spider-Man on the front here. Pop, it should be Pop Movies, I believe, but they left that part out. Marvel Spider-Man Homecoming 220, Spider-Man Vinyl Bobblehead. Got him peeking up there on the top. Nice little display side here. On the back, we've got 220 is Spider-Man. 222 is Spider-Man in the homemade suit. 224 is Peter Parker. 226 is Tony Stark, and 227 is the Vulture. This is my daughter Marissa's figure uh, that I got for her while we were in St. Louis. So let's go ahead and open this box up and take a look at Spider-Man inside. So here he is, guys, Spider-Man in his Stark-made costume. See, he's got the nice little web shooters there. Got the nice design. Um... It looks like they tried to stay as true as possible to the uh, movie Spider-Man um, symbol, uh, which the legs aren't attached to the spider. Uh, they got the nice little detail in the uh, lenses. Very nice. And the eyes, it does feel like they're raised up a bit. Uh, the webs are sculpted in. Actually, it actually kind of feels almost rubbery. I know it's not rubber, but it actually kind of feels rubbery, the paint on it. Um, and as I said, this is the vinyl bobblehead. So, uh, but it looks like all the webs on the suit are sculpted in there. There is not just paint very nice detail it's even got the detail in the blue I don't know how well you guys can see that but it's very nice spider-man's doing his the whip motion the whip <laughs> get it on camera the whip um, not a bad figure uh, I took the kids and the wife to uh, see Spider-Man on for Marissa's birthday. She turned 14 this year. Since she's a big Spider-Man fan, we went and saw Spider-Man Homecoming. And I really enjoyed it. It wasn't a bad movie. It was actually probably one of the best interpretations of Spider-Man. I think the actor who played Spider-Man did a great job. I think it would have been better if he would have portrayed Peter Parker more like Tobey Maguire did. Uh, he did a great job as Spider-Man. He looked the part of Peter Parker. Uh, I just kind of wish they would have, he would have maybe kind of portrayed Peter a little bit nerdier like uh, Tobey Maguire's. But that's for another t uh, review. I'll probably be reviewing the movie after I get a chance to watch it a second time. There you have it, guys. Funko Pop review for this week. The Pop Marvel Spider-Man Homecoming 220 Spider-Man Vinyl Bobblehead. I'll see you again next Tuesday for another Pop Review. Take care. Oh.